Good morning guys, it's your girl Kia Janae or Pretty V Vlogs here with another video. Today is Thursday, April the 11th. And I just wanted to pop on here and say good morning, happy Thursday, happy Friday's Eve. And I'm on my way headed out to work. It is oh, almost 4.30 in the morning. And I should be getting to work roughly about five, depending on traffic, maybe before five, we'll see. But um, I'll be leaving out early today because I'm actually meeting with the contractor later on today. I had mentioned once before that I wanted to try to get my, um, or at least get a quote to see how much it would cost to get my kitchen cabinets painted white. So I have my first contractor coming out today and then my second contractor will be coming out next week um on the 18th i believe that's a thursday i will keep you guys posted and updated on that hopefully if the prices are too crazy if the prices are too crazy then i will go ahead and i will get that done because otherwise i may just have to grow a pair of balls and <laughs> just continue to watch a few more videos and tutorials and do that baby myself because i'm only gonna pay but so much i don't have that many cabinets but yeah, so let me get on this road and I will either check back in with you guys when I get to work, probably later today when I get home. Talk to y'all later. What's up, you guys? So I am at work. I've been here for a while. I've been here since about five. Um, I was up in the office, um, started a few things that I needed to get done for today. And I decided to run out because I needed my Dunkin' fix. I decided to run out and grab me some coffee and I got me some breakfast. Um, I'm back at the office now and it's about 6.15. Um, I'm just sitting outside in the parking lot. I noticed that um, in route to me coming back, the cleaning person, um, I see their car. So I know that they're upstairs in the office now, which I don't like being up there when he's up there. Um, normally I get here before he does and I just close my office door. Um, I'm not even gonna get into all of that. But yeah, so I really don't care to be in the office when he's there. I kind of feel like, honestly, they should come in the evening instead of in the mornings. Or if they are going to come in the mornings, I feel like they need to come at a certain time before any employees get in there. Because like I say, normally I'm there anywhere between 5 and 5.30. So I feel like, I mean, unless I don't know what their contract is set up like, but... I just don't like being up there in the office. I, I'ma just leave. I ain't gonna say no more about it. I'ma just leave it at that. But anyway, so now I'm sitting out in the parking lot until he leaves, which hopefully won't be too much longer. So um, yeah, I just figured I'd jump on here with you guys real quick, so you can keep me company for a moment because it's getting a little boring. People are starting to pull into the parking lot. Not too many people have showed up. Parking lot, it seemed like normally starts getting full or getting uh, people start pulling in more so like around 7, 7 15 ish. Um, the area of the parking lot that I park in is actually right underneath my office window. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here waiting, sipping my coffee. Um, I don't have too much of a busy, busy day plan today. I'm going to go in here and work on some more of these training uh, manuals for the audit, like I said, that we have coming up and check some emails, send out some emails. Um, other than that, it should be a pretty easy day because like I said, I'm leaving a little early today so I can make it home just to, you know, be sure that I'm there by the time the contractor gets there. Um, he's actually not supposed to be there until I think it's 1.30. He's not supposed to be there until 1.30, 1 
but my history with scheduling contractors they never really come at the exact time they say they're going to come it's normally either after that time or they call you because like the last one that i was going to have come out um but well, one of the last ones i was going to have come out for something that i wanted a quote on they were supposed to be there at a certain time and then they ended up giving me a call saying that oh you know they happen to be in the area early so they wanted to know if they can come past at that time like not everybody just sits at home i work uh and i don't work around the corner down the street so not everybody can just get up and fly to meet you i mean if you give somebody an appointment or give somebody a time then you need to try to stick as close to that as possible I guess I don't know maybe he was trying to be I don't know what he was trying to be I don't even consider that considerate because if you give me a time I plan my stuff around my appointment times and I'm more of a to the book person when it comes to appointment times I'm really funny about that and like I say I don't do last minute stuff so yeah popping something on me I don't like that but um anyway supposed to be having him come today and i really want these cabinets done so bad I, every time i go in my kitchen i just keep looking and i'm just like the contact paper is cool for right now it's a quick little fix and it gives me kind of sort of a feel of what white cabinets would look like in the space but it's nothing like having painted fresh beautiful white cabinets and then eventually beyond the white cabinets i would like because i really think it's really nice how people have some of some of their cabinets with just like the glass face on it but i know with that i'm going to want to have everything in the cabinet that has the glass face everything's going to have to match everything's going to have to be neat all the time in there because i'm funny that way too um i wouldn't say i'm ocd about things like that but i just feel like things should look a certain way you know i know things get messy my house gets messy we live there you know you live in the space it's going to get messy but it needs to also or you need to also i feel make an effort to keep things clean and tidy if you walk past something and you notice that something is out of place and it ain't taking too much out of you to do it right quick. Just fix it. Clean it up. Wipe it up. Sweep it up. Rearrange it a little bit. You know, maybe I'm funny like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm the strange one. But, yeah, I would eventually like to get that done. Really, I would like to get my whole kitchen done. You know what? No, really? I want to move. We should be planning to look into moving soon. We've been in that house long enough i'm ready for i don't consider it my forever home even though i've been in there it seems like forever but with my kids basically being out of the house now i have one more left y'all my youngest son and probably by the time he's up out of there that's when i plan on either being in my new forever home or on my way into my new forever home because this right here ain't my forever home. This was actually supposed to be our starter house. Five years or less. But life happens. Things happen. And we've been in there over 10 years. Maybe 15 now. I'm not even for sure. But it's been over. I know it's been over 10 years. But um, yeah. I don't need a big huge mansion. But I do want more space. My home is a three bedroom and I believe it's like 12 or 1300, what is it, square feet? I would like to have at least double that minimum. Uh, my home is a one level, I believe. Are those called Rambler? Is it Rambler style homes when it's just the one level? I don't have an upper level, I don't have a basement. So in my next home, in my forever home, I definitely, I would like to have three levels. But I could settle for two. Um, it either, mm, I, I'm, I'm not real 
picky as to whether it's a main level in an upper level or a main level in the basement. I think I may prefer, maybe I would prefer a main level in an upper level. Although a basement would be nice too because of all of the stuff that I have with my side business, all of the decor and, and the stands and all that kind of stuff, I would like a place to house that and I feel like a basement space that I can turn into storage, like a showroom slash office. I feel like that would be the best fit for something like that. But on my main level, there's certain things that I know that I just want and I have to have and I'm not going to settle without I'm not I'm not going to be able to move further without having certain things. You know, you're, you, when you're getting a home purchase in a home, I know you probably unless you really get lucky like that, or you're not going to get every single thing on your wish list. But for me. I know that I want an open concept because the home that I'm in is not open concept. Everything, the home to me, it's already small. So with it being so closed off, it makes it feel even smaller. So I definitely want an open concept. I don't really care for carpet. Um, I don't mind area rugs, but I prefer the hardwood floors, that, that type of look. Um, I would prefer my master bedroom to be on my ground main level um has to have a bathroom of course in it i need walk-in closets i need closet space i have a lot of clothes and i'm telling you the house i'm in now it doesn't have much storage space and like i said between the clothes and then the household items that you don't use on an everyday basis that you would normally store away in a basement or if you had a garage or something like that i tell you i've become the queen master of camouflaging and hiding and yeah so pretty much the closets that i have other than my you know personal clothes closets full with just stuff and i've been going through and i've been purging and there's still more stuff that i want to go through and get rid of which actually i plan on doing some more of that this weekend um but yeah, I just need more space and I can't wait until that day. But whatever we get next, it's going to be our forever, our forever home. That's just going to be it. I'm not one to do a whole lot of moving. You know, you have some people who they purchase a house and they're in it for a year and then they sell it and then they get another house and they might be there for a few months and then they sell that and then they might be in the next house for however many months. And it's just what they do they just like moving i i just whether it's state to state or you stay in the same state like i just i'm not and, and then like it's the packing and then the unpacking and the settling in and yeah once i get somewhere and i like it until i'm completely just like ready and to go and just like fed up and just like yeah let's let's just go I'm not one to be moving all the time. And I think that may come from me being a military kid when I was younger. I mean, we didn't get moved around a lot like some military kids do, but we did move around some. Um, It wasn't too bad, but I don't know. I just never cared for it. Just get me in a space that I like, place that I'm comfortable, familiar, and cozy with, and I'm good. Why are you flying through the parking lot like that? <sighs> but I'm going to just go ahead, set my little Duncan. This is so good, y'all. And you know, why is it that I normally use the Duncan K cups? Because, like I say, I like the Duncan coffee. So I normally buy the Duncan K cups. But no matter how I make it or what I add to it, it just never tastes like when you get it straight from them. Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. Maybe it's a it's a mind thing. It's probably just a mind thing. But this just mm. anyway, y'all. I think I'm going to get off of here real quick because I'm looking at my 
myself and I'm feeling like I need to add a little something to my face. It's looking a little a little plain Jane, a little pale, if you will, right now. So yeah, let me add a little something, something. Hold on a second, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to add a little something, something to my face. I feel like that's a little better. I ain't put no eyelashes or nothing on this morning. So, I don't know. I was just feeling like I needed a little something. Mm, it'll do. It's a Thursday. But, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get back up off of here. And I will definitely pick you guys back up when I get home. Um, other than meeting with the contractor today... I think I may go ahead so that way I ain't taking up my whole Saturday doing it. I may go ahead and go through my closets again and start um, pulling out some of my heavier winter items to put those away. Like, you know, my coats and um, I'll probably leave like a few light jackets out. But like my heavier coats and my sweaters um, maybe my sweatpants and if there's any like dresses or anything like that like my sweater dresses that I know that I'm not gonna pull out even if it gets like you know because sometimes we get those chilly days even if we get a chilly day anything I know that I'm not gonna wear over the next few months I think I'm gonna go ahead when I get home and start pulling some of that stuff out I need to get me some of those um you know those storage bags that you vacuum and they shrink down the shrink the shrink clothing bags i need to get me some more of those because the ones that i have they need to be trashed what brand of those do y'all use what brand of those bags are the best because i've tried quite a few um the last ones that we purchased i believe we got them from amazon and i can't remember the name brand but i know i think it's just somebody's like ziploc and i think it's ziploc and then it's like some another company but they tend to start off good but then they start like when you shrink them down it looks like they're going to work fine but, but that is, by the time you get them where you want them stored at and you go back and look all the air is out and now they're big and puffed up so i need to find me a brand that stays shrunk and doesn't let the air out over a course of time because I mean that's defeating the purpose if it's not gonna shrink it down what's the point I could just take everything and put it in the damn crate or something but yeah what brand have, do y'all use those and if you have what brand do you find is the best because I do need to purchase some more but yeah I'm gonna start pulling those clothes out and sorting everything and then at least by if I don't get everything um if I don't get the bags and stuff before Saturday I'll at least have everything sorted and pulled out my closet and some of the stuff that I have and some of the shrink bags that I do have put away, like some of my spring and summer clothes, I'll probably start pulling some of that stuff out too. And I need to rearrange and reorganize my drawers once I do that. Because I know I have quite a few drawers that has like the sweaters and the long sleeve shirts and um, sweatpants and that kind of thing in it. The other stuff, of course, is hanging up in the closet. So yeah, I think I'm going to start that process today. That's if I'm not too tired when I get home. Because like I say, when I get home, I just be wanting to go to sleep. Clean, cook if I'm going to cook, eat, and go to bed. But, um, yeah, I feel like I'm rambling. So, I'm about to sip my coffee. And then I'm going to call y'all back when I get home this evening. Talk to you later what's up you guys so i'm home and i kind of already started going through my closet i had mentioned that i wanted to go back through my closet and my drawers to start clearing out some of the heavier winter clothes since we're now in spring and soon we'll be in summer and as i'm clearing out my closet i came across some items that apparently I forgot I even purchased, never had a chance to wear, that I got from Fashion Nova. So,
some of the stuff i don't even know why i bought it i must have been going somewhere i thought i was going somewhere but what i think i'm gonna do is because it's more than five pieces that i found so far i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a pre-bought never wore before fashion overhaul for you guys one it'll help me to see if i can even still fit these things because if not i could say i you know my intention is to lose some weight so i could just hold on to it and keep it but depending on how i feel about them when i try them on if i think that they're still cute i may just go ahead and keep it and then slim myself down into it or i may end up just giving them away
All right, guys. So, and ignore the shoes behind me. I need to go through those and organize those too. But a lot of that stuff is boots. So, that's going to be put away. Um. So, I finished this part of my closet. And I'm going to show you everything I have over here is what I'm going to fold up, put away, and put in those shrink bags when I get them. All of this... needs to be put away and i just started the process of pulling my winter clothes out yeah this is gonna be a process and i also have some stuff over here on my bed that i also need to fold up and put in some shrink bags so this stuff here is going to be put away these are my jeans which I'm not putting those away, but I think I'm going to end up folding them up and putting them in the drawer. Once I clear the drawer out that has my sweaters and sweatpants and so forth in it. As far as pulling stuff out the closet, for now, I'm done with that. It is now 1.15 and I'm just waiting on the contractor to come through. Um, he should be here in the next few minutes. And when he comes in, this is the first contractor that I'm having come out to give me an estimate on my um, getting my kitchen cabinets painted white. I have another one that's due to come out next week, Thursday on the 18th. And I may actually try to find another one, at least a third one. Um, if I can find somebody that can come out either this Saturday or maybe next week, Tuesday. I may do that just to get, you know, multiple quotes, multiple options before I decide on anything. So, yeah, I'll get back on here with you guys um, after he leaves or if I'm able to get some footage um, with him, then I'll slip some of that in here. Call y'all back. Okay, so what color you want to put? White. White everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let me explain the, the process, okay? Okay. Okay, so this gamine I need to send her everything. And this is everything, right? Um, I need to bake then, it down yeah, probably mm -hmm. so. Okay. And we need to bake it down too, right? All the way. No, not the very top. You don't think so? Not the top top. Because then you would have to blend it, so no. This may be um, up to this point. Okay, so now Hey y'all, so it's the next day and I'm just getting in from work. Well, not just getting in from work. I've been home maybe a little under an hour now. I wanted to go ahead and jump back into this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish clearing out my drawers and I'm gonna also clear off or clean off the shelf that I have the winter shoes on. I'm gonna put some of those away and pull out some of my summer and um, spring shoes. So let's go ahead and jump back into the video.
I just finished pulling the clothes that I'm going to put away from the two closet spaces and it consists of all of this. So everything you see here, hoodies, jackets, and everything you see here. More sweatsuits, sweaters, hoodies, the sweatpants that I'm not gonna keep out, long sleeve shirts, turtlenecks, the items you saw me fold up here, that's like my workout. Um, outfits that I have in addition to like the uh, the leggings and so forth. This drawer here. These are the only shorts that I have, which are like the Victoria, Sp uh, Victoria Pink sweatpants shorts or whatever you want to call them. And then those are the few pairs of sweatpants that I'm going to just leave out. Um, I'm definitely going to end up needing to get some, some of those shrink bags, clothing shrink bags to put this stuff in. Um, I'm going to start pulling out the bags that I have my spring and some of my summer stuff in. And oh, I also have these dressers over on this side. So this dresser here just basically houses um, the top two drawers has t-shirts, short, short sleeve t-shirts in it. And the bottom drawer has like some tank tops, short uh, sleeve t-shirts. And I think probably a few like summer dresses that I had never put up from uh, last summer. So now that I have all this stuff pulled out, I guess let me go ahead and start with the first bag that I'm going to pull out that has the summer and spring clothes in it. y'all right, so this is some of the shoes this is my husband's shoes and my shoes combined um as you saw i just i also have tubs of shoes i have one like the one you just saw me unload and then i believe there's one other one that's also underneath my bed but i have the shoes here their shoes all over here I also have shoes in these bins there and I have shoes in these bins over here. So yeah, there's a lot of shoes. Um, let me go ahead and get started on this. Everything that's not in a box, this winter shoes, I'm gonna put in the bin I just took the sandals out of. So let's see how much I can fit in there.
think that's all that's going to fit in this bin here. I think I'm going to put all of my Uggs that are not in a box probably in their own big box like this tub. Either I'm going to stack boxes up top or I'm going to move boxes to the top of the shelf here and leave all of the Uggs out up top here lined up. Let me think about it. I'm going to see what I want to do. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to take a minute and figure this out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in fast life. This stuff here is the rest of the sweaters and hoodies that I need to put in one of those Ziploc bags, the shrink bags. And these are all of the shoes I pulled off the shelf that I need to reorganize and put back up. All of these pants here are like my ruched stretchy pants, some camouflage pants. All of these I'm going to also hang up.
So I've gotten all of the t-shirts folded up. I'm now going to go ahead and get this laundry folded. This is actually laundry that I did that I pulled from the bins that were underneath my bed that had all of my summer and well, not all, but some of my summer and spring attire in it. Um, whenever I switch out the clothes, I don't ever like to just pull them out, whether they're in bins or bags, and put them straight away. I prefer to get them washed up and fresh first. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And like I said, this is the first load of about five. I have one load in the washing machine and one load in the dryer now. And I think there's about maybe two more loads that I need to do. Hopefully I can get all of that done tonight. But it is already going on, I believe, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I'm going to get as much done as I can tonight. And whatever I don't finish up tonight, I will probably finish up tomorrow. Thanks for watching.